today might just be the day. I'm going back to Silver Springs State Park here in Ocala. The reason is, is the last time I was there, I did not kayak. Kayaking is probably the main feature of that park, that and the glass bottom boats. There are feral rhesus macaque monkeys in this park. I don't want to jinx it, but with any luck, I just might see a few. Let's hope they don't jump in my boat and steal my lunch. The best part about this situation is that this park is like only 10 minutes away from where I'm staying here. Some of these trips I've had to drive over an hour to get to, which I'm used to that in Texas. It's kind of nice to be so close to such a beautiful area. This is going to go back on my backpack. I took it off to go to an amusement park. I might need it today. Just for safety reasons, there will be gators. Well, I hope I'm in the right spot. I gotta go see a man about a kayak. Life. Yeah, this is going to be a beautiful day on this little river. Digging it so far, I haven't even gone 100 yards yet. swimming by me but I wasn't fast enough to get him on camera maybe I'll see another one he was really cute spotted an alligator here we go there he is right there yeah buddy just chilling out it's kind of strange to be sitting right on the water here 20 feet from an alligator but I don't think they want anything to do with us humans not unless we get into the water in their domain you stay in your kayak you're pretty safe although they say the monkeys have a tendency to jump in your boat with you that would be cool I think This is astounding. It's so quiet and peaceful out here. I, I, there was people launching when I got in, but they've vaporized. I'm out here all by myself. It's just so calming, soothing. The water is so clear. Look at that. I just don't know what to do with myself. I guess I must keep paddling. I gotta say, this is one of the more memorable experiences I think I'm gonna have while I'm out here in Florida, paddling along this Silver Springs run. It's just, wow, man. Highly recommend it. I 
I'm sure it's in the description, but I don't know what it's called. That is a really cool looking old fort. Look at this woodpecker just going to town. Look at that guy. That is so cool. Starting to see more people. I guess that's inevitable. It's a popular spot. And for good reason. I've seen all kinds of cool wildlife. Woodpeckers. I'm still trying to catch that otter, man. That was cool. He was kind of like They told me that there's a lot more alligators down that way, so hopefully I'll go see some of those. Still looking for those monkeys. This place is birder heaven. So you can get a one hour pass, a two hour pass, or an all day pass. I decided to go with the all day pass so that I could sit out here and take my time. It had only cost $35. Well worth it. I think an hour would have been $35 worth considering all the wildlife I've come across. The vegetation out here is unbelievable. Never seen anything quite like it. I'm a Texas boy, I haven't been that many other places. That is a boat, that is a sunken ship right there. I'm sure they leave it there because it creates a fantastic ecosystem for whatever lives under there, but wow, that's really cool. Turtle's waving at you. Hello. And I've spotted another gator. This one is slightly larger than the other two that I've seen. Hey, buddy. Hope you're having a great day like I am. You seriously don't need a glass bottom boat. <laughs> you can see all the way to the bottom just from right here. Paddling through here, it's, it's, like, it's like being in a Tarzan movie, which makes sense. This is where they filmed the original Tarzan in the 1930s. I have to go out on a limb here and say I'm glad I came. It would be nice to have somebody to share this with, but at the same time, it's kind of cool to just be able to float along with, with, with and make my own decisions. Well, not have to worry about someone else's comfort. That being the case, I am gonna be looking to bring special guests out with me now and then. So keep that in mind. These trips won't always just be me. Those, my friends, are monkeys. We have a successful monkey find. There he is, isn't he cute? Look at that little boy. Could be a girl. Yeah, buddy, they've spotted me. Never seen monkeys in the wild before. I gotta say this, I will never, ever forget this.
Okay, well, I only partly expected that. I was hoping for it. And sure enough, I just got to watch a little family of, I believe they're called rhesus macaques. Um, they were caring for their young, just playing around. Cutest, probably the most vicious things I've ever seen in my life. I don't want to hang around them too long. They might get a little edgy, so I'm going to paddle on out. I guess I'm in the, the headwaters here to the, the, main, the main part of the lake or river. I can't get over what I just saw, though. That was amazing. I'm pretty sure the monkey situation is going to go down in the books as the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. They are so cool looking. And they didn't attack me. I just kind of chilled there, filmed them. They're over there talking now. They're probably talking crap about me. When I see the glass bottom boats, that means I know I'm close, back close to the beginning where I started. It's getting hot out here, but I'm having a good time. I gotta start thinking about food. taking a break it's hot out there I found me a nice little shaded spot to sort of park it drink some water Florida's awesome I knew it was a cool place but I never thought I would get to explore it on foot and on kayak the way I've had to, I've had a chance to do and thanks to my friend Josh for taking me out to Crystal River that was that was really beautiful they got one of those in Austin well at least they used to the place was called Aqua Arena Springs. I don't know if it's still open or not, but I went there when I was a kid. You can still see to the bottom from here, but probably nowhere near as good as you can do it in there. I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. All right, break time's over. It's time to get a move on. Get back into the channel where it's a lot easier to paddle. Got a little windy on me earlier. playing with that fish, flopping them around. So I've had myself a nice little day out here on the Silver Springs paddling trail. Well, it's the Fort King paddling trail, I guess, but it's at Silver Springs State Park. And uh, oh, there's another alligator. Anyway, I'm glad you guys came along with me. I'm pretty sun toasted and I'm hungry. So I guess par for the course, sort of my system that I've been doing since I've been here is I'll go out and I'll have an adventure and see as much as I could possibly see, enjoy every bit of it. And then I'll go get a nice meal somewhere. Usually a Caesar salad, maybe some pretzel bites. I don't know. Yeah, I'm
Thanks a lot, man. Make yeah. Sure I hope you, it went well out there. It went good. Yeah. It's going to be a very good episode of the show, so yeah. <laughs> thanks. No, no problem. You take it easy, man. Silver Spring State Park. All of the staff members at this place that I've come across have been extremely informative, helpful. They have really positive attitudes, and it seems like they really enjoy their job. That, that, that's a big deal to me. When I go to a state park or a natural area, part of what I base my experience on and how I, how I, how I gauge my, my enjoyment is the attitude of the staff, whether or not they're enthusiastic about it. These guys really are. Yeah, that's gonna be one of the more memorable experiences I think I've ever had. That was incredible. I'm glad I filmed it, because I can share it with all of you. I'm definitely gonna have to come back here. And I was just told that there's a whole lot of other springs in the National Forest in this area that also have monkeys. So, looks like they're spreading around. <laughs>